always be conscious of the fact that Allah is aware, that Allah is there, that He's watching. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Musa and Harun to go to Fir'aun, go and invite someone to faith who believes he's God. You think you, think you have difficulty with interfaith? Imagine you're talking to someone who thinks he's God. It was very stressful for Musa and Harun. What does Allah say? What does Allah tell them to help them manage their stress? قَالَ لَا تَخَافَ Don't be afraid. إِنِّي مَعَكُمَا أَسْمَعُ وَأَرَى I am with you. I see and I hear everything. Know that Allah is there. Imam al Hussein alayhi salam on the day of Ashura, what does he say? When his family members were being slaughtered. I mean, talk about emotional trauma. One of the things that Imam al Hussein says is, Hawwana alayya ma nazala bi annahu bi'ayn Allah. What makes the one thing that consoles me on this day, the day when Abbas is being mutilated. The day when Ali al-Akbar is being killed. The day when the noble companions are being slaughtered before his eyes. The Imam says, the one thing that gives me comfort is that Allah is watching. Know that Allah is there. He knows, He sees. Number two, remember that Allah is merciful. Allah in the Quran, in Surah An-Nisa, verse 29, Allah says, لا تقتلوا أنفسك. Don't kill yourselves. There's an ayah about suicide in the Quran. Allah says, do not take your life. Do not kill yourself. I know life can be difficult. There's a lot of stress. You feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. But what does Allah say? Inna Allah bikum rahima. Don't kill yourself. Because Allah is merciful. Don't allow shaitan to convince you that there's nothing to live for. That Allah has not blessed you. That there's no mercy. Allah says, do not kill yourself. And the reason why Allah says, don't kill because I'm merciful. Don't do this to yourself. Don't become blind to my ni'mah. Don't become blind to my grace. Do not allow shaitan to delude you, to deceive you. Number three, we have to keep in mind that life is riddled with hardship. Sometimes you and I, we have this expectation that I have to have a comfort, comfortable life, stress-free life. That's an unrealistic expectation. Shaykh, why is this happening to me? It's happening to you because we're in dunya. That's the nature of dunya. Allah says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ We created man to endure hardship. This life is about developing your soul. Your soul will only grow and mature if you struggle. If you experience hardships, when a baby is born, what does is, what is a baby who's born do? What do they do? They cry. They enter this world crying, which is a sign that this is a place of suffering and trial. And finally, we have to keep in mind that no matter if you're comfortable or you're suffering, no matter if you're at ease or you're stressed, no matter if you feel joyful or you feel depressed or sad, remember the impermanence of this life. It's all going to end. The good days are going to end. The bad days are also going to end. Sometimes we have bad days and we think that we're having a bad life. You're having a bad day. Don't exaggerate. It's going to end. It's temporary. The Quran tells us in Surah Al-Hadid, verse 23, لِكَيْ لَا تَأْسَوْ عَلَى مَا فَاتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا بِمَا آتَاكُمْ Allah says, have this mindset. Don't get too excited about what you get in dunya because you're going to depart it. You're going to leave it. And don't grieve too much about what you miss because we're all leaving. We're all leaving this world. Don't get too attached. It's temporary. You know, just like when you take a, a child to get a shot, what does the doctor say? This is, it's just going to hurt for a moment. It's just going to hurt for a moment. That's dunya. Allah is the doctor. And He's giving us the shot of dunya. And He's telling us it's just going to hurt for a second. Be patient. It's going to end. 